Hi there, I'm Robert from Dolphin Street. Today I thought we'd check out a few wall pedal ideas. <clears throat> it's always fun to use a wall pedal when you're playing lead. And today's lesson is inspired by some Prince material I listened to the other day. He likes to play some things that are similar to this that I'm going to show you today. So the first idea is like this. <laughs> This is the second one. And it's pretty fast and flashy, but because you're using a wall pedal, you can actually afford to be a little bit sloppy. It doesn't matter so much because the wall effect hides some of your imperfections, so to speak. So let's take a closer look. So this is the first lick. And as you can see, that's just a repetitive thing, but what makes it cool is how you use the wall pedal. More about that in a minute. First, let's look at the notes. I'm playing the 14th fret on the G string, and then switching to B string on the 12th fret, 15th fret, and from the 15th fret I do a, a pull-off down back to the 12th fret on the B string. And then I'm repeating again. And you, of course, you have to work on getting up to speed, but what makes it cool is if you start with the wall pedal in this position, as you start working up to speed and you gradually slowly push it down, you get that wah kind of effect on a fast lick with uh, notes that come by quickly. It's a cool effect. <laughs> And then after that you can do something else, once you get to the bottom with the pedal. For example, going to the lick number two, which is like this. And uh, the way I'm playing this is I'm bending up on the 15th fret on the B string. And then switching to the 12th fret on the E string, which is actually, these are the same notes. But when you start with it with a bend like that, it sounds cool. And then the next two notes are these ones. And this is in the B string on the 15th fret. I'm picking that note and do a pull off down to the 12th fret. And then I'm starting over. That's the whole thing. And then you've got to end it some way, and this is one way you could do it. I'm going up on from the 15th fret, hold step bend, back to the 15th fret, 14th fret, and then 12th fret, and hammer on up to the 14th and pull off back to the 12th. And then 15th fret on the B string. And then bend up a whole step. And the same thing there, I'm starting with the pedal this position and then gradually pushing it down towards the bottom and you get that cool wah effect. All right. Those are a couple of fast runs that you can do when using a wall pedal, taking advantage of that, that sw long sweep, slow sweep, 
as you have it quickly coming by. Now let's look at a third idea, which is uh, one you've probably heard before. It's a very common idea, not, a, not only when you're using a wall pedal. It's with doing simply these things. <laughs> So I'm referring to the first two notes here. I'm doing a bend from the 14th fret on the G string while I'm keeping the uh, pinky on the 15th fret on the B string. I mean, this is sort of a, sort of a thing you hear in country music and other styles. You know. In that last Jeff Beck lesson I, sh I, uh, I, p I published last week, I did the same thing. So with the wall pedal added, as you do in that bend with the ring finger, a whole step, at the same time you're pushing down the pedal, so you're intensifying that wah effect by combining the bend and the wall pedal at the same time. So, so when you, your ring finger goes up, your foot goes down on the pedal, starting in this position. And after that you can... You can end with a whatever idea you want. Push it down to the bottom and you get that. All right, that's a cool effect of using the wall pedal uh, to create that quacky type of sound. So every, if I do if I do this lick faster and faster, I, I push my pedal faster and faster as well. And let's let, check out a fourth idea as well. It's very similar. So when we're playing this band, we're actually playing these two notes. 16th fret G string and 15th fret B string. Now we're doing it with a band first. We can skip that band and go directly to playing those two notes. And you can do now fast tremolo picking. I'm using a V pick, by the way. One of my favorite picks that are useful for playing fast tremolo picking. So I'm going up and down like this on these two strings, fast, 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 and at the same time, I'm playing with the, uh, the wall pedal. So you see, I slide it in, this whole thing. And when I do the slide, my pedal is this way, and then I slide it up, I push the pedal down. At the same time, I'm using the pick to do a fast tremolo picking motion. go thanks for checking this out i hope you learned a few things now go to my do website dolphinstreet.com and sign up for my newsletter if you haven't done so because then you'll get tons of free lessons and other free cool stuff for over a year all for free thanks <laughs>